This is the second example for how to use the Euclidean algorithm to get a multiplicative inverse, so this. If you want a slightly slower or um, slightly more thorough example, uh, see the first example, see the link in the description. Um, and if you are looking for some how to use the Euclidean algorithm to find GCD of two numbers, that's also slightly different. Again, see the link for a video on that. So, this example, we want to find 5 inverse mod 23. So, first we take the 23, put it here, take the 5, put it here. We just write it in this format as 23 equals 5 times 4 plus 3. Um, so how I got that, 23 divided by 5 is 4 with a remainder of 3. So. After we do that, we take the 5 and move it over to the green position, and we take the remainder and move it over to the blue position, and we do the same thing again. 5 divided by 3 is 1 with a remainder of 2. And then we do the same thing. Scoot the blue over to the green, scoot this orangish reddish remainder over to the blue, and do the same thing again. 3 divided by 2 equals 1 with a remainder of 1. Now. Um, some people like to go all the way to a remainder of zero. I don't really think that's necessary because we don't need the zero. We need to stop at one. So once you get to a remainder of one, stop. And right here, I rewrote it. And the next step is to solve for each of these remainders. So I literally just rewrote it as, and moved the like this two times one over to this side of the equation. So you can see each of these has been rewritten to solve for the remainder. So first we went down this way, now we want to go backwards from bottom to top. Now how we're going to do that, we want to start with the bottom one, which I copied over here, and then um, we want to move on to the next row, which um, you can see if there's a 2 here is our main number, which I put a nice green box around, and we want to substitute in. So I took the 5 minus 3 times 1 and substituted it in for our 2. So we have 3 minus 5 times 3 times 1, or I think I said something wrong, but you can see it there. Next, now that we've substituted that in, we want to determine what number we want to substitute in next. We can do that by just going up to up the row to 3. So I put a box around all the 3's because the 3's essentially want to be left alone. Now down here I rewrote it as 3 times 1 and negative 5 times 1. The reason I did this is because in this algorithm you generally want to have something multiplied times something else. So if you don't have anything to multiply times it um, just put a 1. It's a nice space, uh, placeholder for it. Anyway, back to the what we're going to do with the 3, is you can see that both these terms have a 3. We want to combine them. So I have 3 times 1 and another 3 times 1, which makes 3 times 2. Notice I did not mess with the 3. We still have our 3. We combined our 3 terms. Um. Just to give you a contrast of something I could have gone wrong in this step, this one, this one, and this one all have the number 1. So I could have potentially added like the 3, the negative 5, and the 3, which adds up to 1, which would have told us that 1 equals 1 times 1, which, while true, obviously, is ultimately uninteresting and not helpful. So, in this step we now have this right here, and we have also gone all the way up our row. So, what number do we do next now that we've done the 1, done the 2, and done the 3? Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I missed a step. We have to substitute in for the 3. I put the 23 minus 5 times 4 in here, and now we need a new number. So what we did from here to here is we were just substituting in. So the next number is 
5 because our original problem was the inverse of 5 mod 23. So 5 is our next keeper number. Alright, so I put a little red box around the 5s so that I would remember not to touch them, not to mess with them. And I rewrote it 23 times 2 minus 5 times 8. See, when I multiplied this 2 over here, I multiplied it times the 4, not times the 5, which I could have done, but that would have kind of messed me up because I want to keep my 5s because 5 is our next number. So, once I did that, I combined 5 terms. Um, so, I end up with 23 times 2 minus 5 times 9. So the 8 and the 1 combined to make this 9 right here. And then I copied down my 1 that I haven't been copying, and I rewrote it as 23 times 2 times 5, yeah, excuse me, 23 times 2 plus 5 times negative 9. Like I wrote here, we want 5, not negative 5, because right here we had 5, not negative 5. So, as we all know, 5 times negative 9 is the same thing as negative 5 times 9, so I can rewrite it like that, okay? And, lastly, we want the 5 times something to be on the side by itself. So I moved the 23 times 2 over to this side right here, subtracting it over. And then, luckily, 23 was our modulus, therefore 1 plus or minus 23 times something, anything, doesn't matter, will just be 1 mod 23. So the modulus goes away. Goodbye. And that equals 5 times 14 mod 23. Um, I changed our negative 9 to 14 uh, just by adding 23 to this negative 9 here. So we have 1 mod 23 equals 5 times 14. When we get to 1 equals this original number times something, the something is our answer. Like I wrote here, the inverse of 5 mod 23 is 14. If you have any questions, please post in the comments below.